Hello everybody, today is Thursday the 18th of May and it is Ascension Day, so happy Ascension Day everybody. And um, also welcome to the new ones. I got some subscribers and that's um, very cool, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I did, before that I thought about what I would say and stuff and so on and now I don't remember a thing. And here I have uh, crocheted a bit too much. Also stretched a lot. Thank you, Tina. I finally got to do it and it's really helpful. I didn't think that would help with those issues, but it does. Uh, but I might have overstretched a bit. So um, I can show you the culprit I made, why my hand is bad. It's not so much from the crocheting, but from stitching it together. So holding a needle is, is kind of the worst thing for your carpal tunnel that you can do. So And today I want to go on with a craft room tour. So it will be the second part. Um, I think it's featuring a lot of my stamps. And then I do think it's going to be another at least two parts more. Uh, because I don't want them to be too long. And I want to show you everything. So I am sitting in the spot where I'm usually crafting. And I have that stuff that I'm going to show you next right next to me. Because it's stuff you use a lot when you're making a card. So let's get going. And this is the thing I made which um, took me out of it. It's a triceratops from Teresa's crochet shop. It's very cute, but th that frill thingy uh, with slip stitches that were too tight and stuff and, and sewing everything on was, was um, hurtful. <laughs> and it would also have nails, but they don't turn out nice when I do that. So this one has no nails. Better that than uh, having something very not, not nice. And then here I have my Copic case. I do like them. I know they're very expensive, but they are refillable. I have used other ones and um, they're good too. I used the I Love Art Makers from the Georgstecker in Switzerland, uh, but I don't like having to throw them out all the time. So that's why I have it here. And I have it sorted by yellow, greens, greens, blues and stuff. So I just recently made that. I made a not so good video about it, but you could check that out. And then up here, I also have some Posca pens, which I wanted to use in my resin crafting, which is not my um, flagship. So I have to fade that out a bit, um, get rid of the all the molds I have. But I have those Posca pens and I can use them here too. Then I made this, um, was supposed to be a pencil holder somehow with a 3D pen. And I have switched things around a bit. I have stuff here now too, because I made one of those, which was too long. And instead of throwing it out, it works fine with those. Hang them on the side and have all of those special ones in here. They used to be in there, but they got too many. So right now this is empty. Maybe I can get another spray. I have four of those sprays, uh, perfect pearl. This is turquoise. And then I have sh Sparkle Shimmer Spray. I never know which one is the best. Shimmer or... What's that? Not Frost, I know. Shimmer or Glimmer Mist. Glimmer Mist, Shimmer and Frost is a kind of like a more white. So those are in here and still got some more pens over there. Uh, also, I use those when the stamp doesn't go very nicely, so I can redraw the lines. And those are made are good with Copics. With alcohol markers, they don't smudge them. And those I just recently got because some are a bit um, old and dry, dry on the drier side. So I got some other ones. And in here, I also have, those are my newest acquisitions and I want more of those. Those gel jelly glaze pens, which uh, are a bit 3D, which are super cool. I really want to get a white one because I always have the problem when I do white, um, when I try to fix a picture where I drew over the lines with a white thing, it always um, colors in, it doesn't stay white and that annoys me very much. And I do hope that will be better with a gel pen and some other um, waterproof, this is an edding. I also have a Sharpie, but I prefer an editing. But this is actually later. So this is up here. I also have this out right now. It's the stamp cleaner for uh, toner ink. And 
this is actually a um, card curtain or a bathroom curtain and sometimes I have I have dyes in there I want to use a lot or I do use a lot stamps I want to use and haven't used there's a cord um, envelopes that went wrong some cards I like and others like there are all my addresses so I don't have to look for them a long time when I want to send a card so everything kind of within reach yeah that's that's in here and uh, yeah and then I have those two roll containers which are from very useful box on it I have some washi tapes I got that cool dispenser from catnip it does fall apart a lot but I, I, it's so cute and also this is my washi tape I use to seal my envelopes happy birthday because that's the cards I send out all the time and today I used um, the lawn phone washi tapes for decorating my envelopes a bit or the cards on the inside because I always find it hard to write something in there and then here we go this is the 3d foam adhesive drawer here are the two millimeter pads and here are the one millimeters and back there are different rolls I found it very hard to find some and then when I found any uh, 3d foam tape I just got it all so it's in here and I'm using it regularly um, some are not so good and the one millimeters are I'm running out of those a lot but I've heard that I've heard that some have changed to use paper as a 3d element or cut it again with paper and I might think about that too it's very handy when you have dyes already you can just cut out another critter like that and then uh, have it a bit higher stack it okay so this is the next drawer there's more adhesive in here this is my, it's very new um i use it for um maybe i put it down here uh, copic ink ink blending stuffs so that the ink pad doesn't slip around then here i have double-sided tape in all the all the sizes which i use a lot then here is Piece of dots. They're, I think they're very tiny. Those were a bit wrong. I just wanted the normal glue dots again, the small ones for um, magic iris cards and stuff. I have different glue dots, some are wrong, and those I think are for my sister, like for pictures. Yeah, photo clip. Just kind of those things. I don't use those that often, but I use them. Uh, and this is 3D foam. Again, as when I found anything foamy, 3D, I took it. And this is just a, a, a wide double-sided tape. Haven't used it that much, but I want to get into that a bit more. And here I have masking tape. I was looking a lot for masking tape. All I could found, find was this from the post shop. Um, it was very, very expensive. And yeah, it's very, very, very thin. So I found other ones later on, which I will show you soon. Are better. This is my stamping drawer, and now I have this in here. It used to be in here a long time, then I put it over there. Yeah, so my I use mostly those cards for stamping on it and coloring the critters. So now my old sock band <laughs> bandage or band bandage got uh, got annoying. And um, those are just from Migro, very cheap cards, and they're they work fine with uh, for coloring but sometimes i use nina solar white cardstock and it's it is different to use a better paper but this works too then here are my acrylic blocks next to it is the embossing um, thingy with a versamark ink pad the anti-static thingy some pens which also work uh, embossing pens and the the embossing powders I use most. I nearly have used all of the black. I got clear gloss, more clear gloss, white. Uh, I do like the glisten. That's just something you can add to your things to make it sparkly. You can make your own powder. So this is an own um, composition. Just add a glisten to blue. And in my other drawer I have more and there I put it on top what it is. Here I just wrote it down. So this is holographic what is that? bonding powder i think that's for for with foiling i need to try that out have not maybe i tried it out at the beginning didn't work but i need to work on that 
glow in the dark then i have some more ink pads which are not in there uh, the yeti white from mod form then the stays on in black and i thought i needed it in white too um then i have this what is this black licorice that was at the very beginning i was looking for a ink pad that works for my um, copic markers or alcohol markers back then and um, that's why i got that one but it's not dark enough for me and now i use this and i mentioned that the last time i use versafine the ink pad but i have that re-inker from lawn fawn which is jet black and works for both um watercolors and alcohol markers so i like that and then those are two metallic ones which scare me a bit because they had warning signs on them so i don't use them a lot this is for sublimation i'm very happy i found that so i can make i use my stamps and in the end put them on a cup or a mug and then here's my glue pad which i also got at the very beginning when i was adding glitter to i think it was snowflakes and it didn't work so i got that one but i have not used it a lot since then so there's some stuff i got at the very beginning and didn't work out that well and uh, even forgot i had them so, so this is the stamping drawer also i have a piece of paper here which i use to funnel that the embossing powder back in and this says stempeln stamping uh, the verb so in here i have those super cute bows bow ties I haven't used them yet, but I want to. They're quite big and then they don't work with the critters I have. And I started putting my scraps in here because I sit here and when I need something, I can look in here if I find it. And they're just some refill pencils. Next we have uh, a lot of miscellaneous things. This is now the masking tape I use. This is way wider. And I found this one with four refills for very cheap from uh, brak.ch. And then this are the, new, I think they're quite new, those corners to make a box. From we are memory keepers or we are makers. Memory makers, I don't know. Um, some magnets because I'll explain to you why later. <laughs> and then stickles. There's all the other stickles. Well, this just recently happened that everything is in here like that. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> this is just sellotape. Then I have one thingy, what's it called? Easy Runner, which I rarely use. I started with that. I saw people using that. I thought I needed that. Um, I have a very, very strong adhesive in here. And uh, yeah, very, I mostly use liquid glue uh, because that really holds. And more stickles. I have about two, four seven or so eight and then here are more corner rounders this one still works this one falls apart but it still works i just have to push it back together every time i use it so in case the next one breaks as of the, this backup one as i said this is the third one i have <laughs> and some rubber bands it's more kind of office supply things oh here are my inks <laughs> i have all the ink stumps blending tools in here some lawn fawn inks which i don't really use um also yeah they had them and i had to have them somehow then i have i think i have all the colors but i got the small ones with the tins and i did i did make those circles which are the samples and i just have them in the tin so i can look at them so i got the greens and the blues is a bit annoying i always take up out the wrong one they're always in a different order the oranges and reds brown and black and those still fit got two lawn fawn inks in there uh yellows and grays and the pinks and the purples so. But it's handy it's right here so it's easier sometimes to take that than to take those out and do with oxides and i use inks more often with uh, stencils because i think that the image gets more crisp 
that with the oxides it's a, it's a bit um, wishy-washy at the edges and I like crisp edges and here sparkle it's called sparkle just got my sparkly what's it called Gansai Tambi pearl colors I have three of those uh, I use that and and um, perfect pearls for speckling and I also have a quite cheap watercolor palette which actually I cannot open with one hand <laughs> uh, which has two two layers and um, they work fine sometimes I use those for watercoloring also speckles I have that from Marine Simon who does a lovely lovely cards and sometimes to have just watercolor speckles is, is nicer than the shimmery ones because they're, they're just more strong somehow and I have some blenders also from at the beginning when I tried to I think color with watercolor with normal pencils that are watercolor water soluble I don't know <laughs> and then here this drawer is a bit jammed because it's the undermost drawer I got some backup plates for my small die cutting machine and just other things like brads um, those are um velcro things i thought they would be way bigger um also those things i don't know what the eyelets action wobblers um mm, sizzix backup stuff and those things you can iron into pictures and i use them too for slider cards or something it's a bit hard to make them stick they fall off a lot but i thought one can use those too and I have some leftover magnets for my bigger magnet sheets, more magnets, and in here tiny magnets, I think. Yeah, and more of those things. So, just different things to adhere stuff to things. Yeah. And also tongues. I don't know what those called. Hole punchers or something. I have some more out there. I don't use those as much. Again, sometimes one thinks one needs them, and then it turns out one can't use them that much. And just a little remark to the to the uh, copics. I got mine when they were a bit when they were on sale from Galaxus or Digitech in Switzerland, and I found that art warehouse or art ware shop .ch has the best price okay now over here on the table i those are all stamps i'm going on with those later over here i have an old wooden thingy from my dad it was in his um storage unit he used to be an electrician and i covered it with napkins so and i have all those things in here that i could just put like that <laughs> So in here is a big cutting mat, also from the very beginning. Don't use it that often because it, it's so big, it's hard to use. So I, I, I got a smaller one too. And I use this when I need to cut some uh, critters out or the holes in there with this and an exacto knife or craft knife. Then I have, I did have the small, I don't remember what it's called, make art station. And then I thought it's it would be handier, a bigger one for uh, with stencils and stuff. So I have the bigger one too. I use this and that. It depends on how much space I have on my table. Um, and there's my magnet problem. Also have my stamper bodies in here. Here's one problem. <laughs> See, they stick to each other. I have the one from Tim Holtz because it can it can be changed and then use rubber stamps red rubber stamps as well as clear stamps and this is another one of stamp perfect because at the beginning i could not stamp my images and then i had to get that one <laughs> and this one i got later on because it's so big again i always had a small table and not much space and then i used that one too but there is spots where it doesn't really stamp it well so this stamps better, but sometimes I use this one because also it has those open edges, so you can put a bigger paper in there. And yeah. and they stick to each other. That's why I took off the magnets, but then they all stacked on each other and couldn't take them apart. 
put washi tape on it really helpful i still have two magnets i cannot get apart <laughs> i also had them here a bit but then everything just went there and stacked there that's also not handy so those are my stamper bodies then here's my envelope pal which i used to make my own envelopes this with my patterned paper and that's basically it and i seal it with that one happy birthday i showed you in my last video at the end how i make an envelope those are very old things that's still from pmt means uh, psychometricity therapy i used to be a psychometricity therapist and this is crafting ideas but i have changed it um i made my own stamp and uh, that's it i i tore out the other pages and originally i got it from my old sister she used to do that and give it as gifts oh this is another just some crafting ideas and stuff yeah but i don't use them a lot um, then i have the heat gun here i'm not perfectly fine with it there i plug it in in here or i go over there and work on that table maybe i could put it in a drawer that might be nice but i always have to unplug it or i get scared that i burn down the house and then i have two paper trimmers the one from tim, tim holtz the guillotine one and the slider one uh yeah another oh i'm so sorry <laughs> It's always loud and annoying when I take the stuff out here. Then I have the, a bigger score pal, which is also very useful because I only had the small one at the beginning, and which is in inches, and this one is in centimeters, but it only has ho mainly whole centimeters and not not much more. So I need to make it work somehow. And now it's stuck. And then I also have a um, light up plate, which I use for diamond paintings. And then I have some more paperwork there. This is just more like office material. When I cut off um, a part of a page, which is quite thin, I store it in here, use it as note paper. So I do my shopping list here and stuff. I got pens and pencils and my scratchy hand, which is very handy to scratch and to reach for stuff that's far off on the table. Then here, that's quite a new thingy too. It's a station which you can put up a bit. So when you draw, it's not flat on the table. It's more like an easel because well, last year and this year I had to take off out two teeth and I had some troubles with uh, healing. So my whole cheek, I think my lymph system is a bit bad and stuff gets jammed. And when I look down and work, it always uh, blows up and I have pain for about a week till it gets better and then when I do that not that far down with my head then I can color stuff and yeah because otherwise I cannot color anything or work on anything because this always starts swelling up again it is getting better though and I'm very happy about that it's already about one and a half years of having troubles with my cheek but it's getting better and as soon as I say that I will have problems with it again so then here I made two things with match boxes uh, the bigger one i had and the smaller ones I, I bought they were just clean ones empty ones um here i want to store my alphabets when they're cut out because i like stuff like that being ready and just yeah accessible and here's also just other leftover things like tags banners um i, I like using clouds and so I don't have to cut them every time or just put it in the leftovers. So far, it's too far over there to reach. So it needs to go somewhere there or maybe here or something. So I actually use it. And then I have this suitcase left here. Uh, this is just leftover bits and stuffs. And um, sometimes I use it. I have a problem with my scraps and things i have another box there to sort this too and, and there's some stuff that's just i don't know how to handle it yet with those leftover things sometimes i'm very glad to find a border in there or something yeah so but it's closer there yeah it just fits here okay 
and with that i would like to finish the room tour from for today uh, next time i for sure will show you my stamps and see what else fits on the video because i don't want them to be too long and this is already plenty of information in that amount of time so i do thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one